Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpisami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome everybody. Let's take a look again on the Great British Pound. Well, guys, actually this was a uh, difficult choice between the Euro currency and Great British Pound because both of them are followed with our analysis and our expectation. Uh, but the action on the Euro currency is a bit slower and um, the, the charts on the Great British Pound looks a bit look a bit brighter than on the Euro currency. So more patrons, they are more clear and uh, it's, uh, there are more nuances on the Great British Pound rather than on the Euro currency. On Euro currency, we just wait when one or 450 target will be hit. We already have the bearish position. This was a lot of chances. There were a lot of chances for taking the short, and we well, talk about it almost in every daily update, in daily video, every time we uh, discuss the possibilities for taking the short position. That's why today we are, will take a look at the Great British Pound. But in general and strategically, situation on the Great British Pound and Euro currency are similar. So they almost show the same situation with the expectation of further downward action. So on the daily chart, uh, market has passed for the all FIB levels. So that was the first reaction on this FIB support that was uh, FIB level oversold. In this area, this market shows meaningful retracement here. When the market has hit again this 58, 5080 area, this was the FIB, FIB level 618 support from this low, this top. So it was just very small retracement. So the levels when they uh, are touched for the second time becomes weaker. And then that's why as you can see minor retracement and move below. So market has broken the 50-80 FIB support and that's why I don't have it on this chart. Also, market is not at ever sold right now. So in fact, it has relatively free space down. In the beginning of the week as the target, we probably should watch for reaching of uh, the 127 extension. But theoretically, very probable that market will be able to move lower and touch this lower border of this wedge pattern or even moving, move to this area, to the next destination point, 1618 extension. Sooner or later this probably should happen because this fast acceleration tells that usually when market forms the butterfly and shows this fast drop, uh, in the most cases it continues move down to the 1618, even up to 127 we see some bounce. So that's why in the short term perspective we probably should watch for a 149 area. But uh, if we would get lucky, in this case we probably could reach even here, this 148.50 area, somewhere in this level. Also guys, although we do not have the FIB level on the daily chart, if you will take a look at the monthly picture, you will see that 139.10 area is the long term uh, monthly FIB support. But you should not treat it as the precise number, uh, this is mostly the range around this area because as you can see here market has dropped as low as to the 135.50 area but uh, still this was around the 49.10 monthly FIB support and it seems that it still works although it has been penetrated uh, but it still probably works I, I just would like to show the scale of the of these monthly levels so they are really wide and uh, it works like the uh, uh, some sort of the some sort of the range or something of that sort where the market could fluctuate around it. Uh, it's like the, some soft rubbers, so it could uh, move slightly inside of it, then it's pushed up. So there's some some sort of the smooth force that could uh, push market out from these levels, and market could significantly move uh, inside of these ranges. So that's why, as you can see, this level is 149 area is 
coincides coincides with the uh, targets of this butterfly and flower board of this wedge. So this probably will be our next destination point on the coming week. On the hourly chart, uh, here we can see that the flag pattern that we have discussed on Friday has been broken, as we have suggested. So uh, if you have taken the short, as we have called you, uh, this problem is great. You have the now short position. Uh, if you do not do this, well, you, you will have to wait for another bounce. But um, on Monday, guys, it's very difficult to suggest that market will show bounce here. Because uh, theoretically, we could count on some retesting of this broken flag and uh, touching simultaneously with the weekly pivot point. But I suggest that it looks like that this was an attempt to retest this broken line. And market was really weak and wasn't able to reach this area and turns down again. As you can see, drop to the 127 target was really fast. Almost in one candle market has hit it. That's why it's logical to expect move down to the next target. And take a look. It stands right at 150. And this in turn stands right around 150 again. So this is the same target with this butterfly. So maybe if market will hit this area, maybe some minor retracement could happen after that. But do not count on some really significant action because market already has completed the major retracement. If retracement up here will follow, it probably will be small. Maybe market will retest the bottom of this long candle. Maybe it will move slightly higher to these lows somewhere in this area it could stuck. Because market's not at the result and uh, it's already has completed the major retracement. So here retracement probably will be minor. And after that market probably should continue move down. So uh, that's our current view. Uh, on the Great British Pound. As you can see, no drastical changes has, have come. Uh, on the strategical view, uh, on the tactical view, is also mostly the same. We still expect the downward action. Uh, that's just some moments that stands in relation to the possible retracement, what targets market could reach, how it will uh, respond on them. So that's all that we would like to say. Let's see what we will get in the coming week.